My name's Skylar Adams. I'm the writer-director of Rearview Mirror. I would call this film a neo-noir action thriller. Um, this story is, it's a tale of redemption um, about a Marine veteran who uh, lives in his car after experiencing great trauma when his son is killed. While he's homeless, he witnesses the murder of, uh, of a guy he doesn't know and subsequently ends up having to take care of that victim's son. And needs to decide, is he really willing to put his own life on the line? And is it worth it? Just, you know, as an audience, we want to see, is he going to be able to overcome what he's been through to, to carry on, you know, with his life? We see a lot of documentaries like it, but for something more feature-esque, which this short film does do, it allows us to see in a very real way what they can literally do in our society. I think it's time that we put that sort of character in a situation where it's done more cinematically. What happens after you've lost the will to fight yet you're the only one around that can make a difference. I really like what the director did with it. I liked how it was personal to him and how it's not something that's just out of this world. It's something that we actually see nowadays. There's a lot of homeless veterans out on the, out on the streets and whatnot. The director coming, having his own experience being abroad, I thought that it would really bring out some authenticity into the film. When we depart from the military, there's a lot of people who have a hard time transitioning into a civilian life. So for this particular character's life to fall apart and then for him to uh, retract into his shell, into a prison he created out of his car, it, it makes perfect sense. And then by the end of film, you'll have this feeling for the, for the main character that you, you didn't expect to to feel after a short film. Sometimes, you know, with joy, sometimes with sadness, but it's a good ride. Um, and I think that this, this film will help a lot of people understand what goes on inside the mind of a veteran after leaving the service. What do we need to make this film? We need your support. Uh, while this film is self-funded by our crew, we're still gonna need more to come in to pay for food, for equipment, for stunts. For the car that we're using, gas money. We need money to pay the stunt people, um, the stunt coordinator. I, I see the biggest hurdle is finding generators and getting lighting equipment. Sound equipment. I need microphones. I need mixers. I need lavaliers. We don't want it to sound like a student film. You know, we want to be able to have good quality sound libraries, good mics and all that stuff, uh, good room tone so it actually sounds like you're in this landscape with us, this visual landscape, and just immerse yourself in a with sound and what you're seeing. The concept we see here is pretty ambitious. Um, we need a lot of safety meeting, a lot of crew, a lot of preparation. So we need a lot of money for camera bodies, lenses, batteries, all of the backups being cables and things that will might draw us astray like power and stuff on set. So when we're really down and out and it starts raining or it's nighttime, we're gonna need all this equipment in order to really get things moving, especially when we're shooting in cars, we're shooting action scenes, we're shooting on the beach. We need your help and support to make this film. Social media awareness, if you can't donate money, then please just like, share our video, share our film to your friends and family to get as much people to, to, see, um, to see our film. We will be greatly appreciative of it. There's a lot of big things planned and we're not gonna be able to make it happen without you.